All right. Hey, everybody. My name is Ed Winslow uh, from OnePageCaseStudies.com. And in this, uh, I'm showing you a blog post that we wrote recently. You can, if you go to OnePageCaseStudies.com, you can find this blog. What I did was a combination of a, a review of breakthrough advertising. And also, I turned it sort of into a case study because it's, it sort of shows how we built the one page case study model, uh, where it came from. I used a lot of different tactics within breakthrough advertising. Uh, when I started to work on the case study model, I didn't know what to name it. I didn't know how to deliver the information. And if it wasn't for breakthrough advertising, I would not have this. This would not be live today. And it just it just opened up my world. It helped me see things that I hadn't seen before. And it helped me create a path. It helped me figure out all the different marketing tactics that Eugene Schwartz, who wrote the book, I mean, this is a timeless book. It's 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 really what they call, you know, it's a masterpiece. It's like a piece of art. And there's so many businesses who have achieved such tremendous success uh, off the, from this book. So I'm just going to give you an overview of what is in this blog post and a little bit about how we use Breakthrough Advertising and some of the tactics. So let's take a look. Okay. So you're going to see what we do here is a lot of the, throughout the content, we've got 5,000 words. So it's a, this is a long piece. And throughout this piece, we show how we use breakthrough advertising and all the different tactics and all the things you can learn in the book just really, really wild. I've spent a lot of time studying this book, but you can see how uh, within the 5,000 words, it's almost like we created 10 500 word articles or blog posts. And each one has got a very similar structure. You've got, you know, you've got your headline, you've got your, your introductory paragraph, and then we summarize with bullet points at the end. Now, this is a plugin that we use that uh, pulls from all the H tags in a piece of content, which is really nice because it makes it very easy to read what this is about. And what's really neat about this piece of content is that you can read this page out of order and you can pick up on what connects with you. That's actually called what's called an identification factor, which is something Gene Schwartz talks about a lot. Identification factors are really huge for one of the reasons why is that within, within a business, you've got many different customers. They're all coming from to the world from a different perspective. They have they all have their own unique values. There are things that they see that not everybody else sees. And so when you start to learn about identification factors and, and how to use them, it's going to help you open up new markets. So if, let's take a look here. Uh, what, now, when I started my career many years ago, I started with a company called CBRE. CBRE is what at the time was called Coldwell Banker Commercial Real Estate. And I was taught a business development formula. And I explain that here. And you can see what I'm doing. One of the things in breakthrough advertising is to leverage off of belief. Well, it's really to promote belief. It's all about belief. And Gene Schwartz actually says that customers have to believe or they will not buy. So it's not about your offer. It's what people see in the product, you know, is, and I'll, I'll, we'll, you'll see as we go through this. But one of the things I was taught or met, uh, learned right from day one was Chuck, a guy named Chuck Wisher, who was my boss when I started, you know, right out of college in a Coldwell Banker uh, training program, CB training program. This is what I was told. We are the largest, most successful real estate company in the world for one reason. We have a system. If you follow the system, you will succeed. If, if you deviate, if you think you are smarter, have a better way or cut corners, you will fail. And that is so true. So it's what I, what I like about this is that I use this within the training of the one-page case study model. I, when I work with clients who we provide marketing services for, I start with this because I want them to understand where this comes from. I don't, and I, and I use CBRE as the source because it just gives it so much more credibility. It makes what I'm saying indisputable. You, it's totally believable. It's, this is the largest commercial real estate company in the world. 
and you can't dispute the system that this works. And what I'm doing is I'm leveraging off that. So if I was to say it by myself, it's not going to hold water like it does if I say, hey, this is the CB model. So I was a I was a disciple of the CB model. Then we get you can see we follow the same structure over and over. We get down into we we have key points that we that I talk about in this piece of content. Now, what happened when I at CB is I met this guy named Bob Knackle and um I started to learn from Bob and then he went and started his own firm and I went to work with Bob. So what Bob did was he took the CB system and he made it better. He, he, he took their system and improved on it. And the whole model was really based on case studies. We didn't really know what, it, we didn't really identify that it was case studies. We just knew that if we showed actual results that it converted to sales. We called it the system. And it took many years. It wasn't until I went through breakthrough advertising that I even understood what the system was because I didn't know why it worked. I just didn't know it worked. Breakthrough advertising gave me a vision into the mechanics of why this whole business model, why the CB model worked, why the Bob Knackle model worked, and why so many other business models who are based really on the same strategy. Why do they work? And that's what I did was I sort of uncovered the mystery behind what this was. And I was able to name it instead of saying, I don't really know why this works. It just does just do this. I came up with it and I said, oh, this is called, it's a one page case study business model. And what I did was I, we, we have two different types of case studies we talk about. One is the success story, and the other is called the market insights. And I talk about that. And that's what Bob Knackle does. He's the number one real estate broker. Like he's 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 like the king. He's got the he's the guy with the crown, uh, being the most successful real estate broker in the history of New York City. But he's also the most successful real estate broker that's from CB, which is the largest in the world. And the one page case study model, it's it's a Google search SEO strategy that I developed off this model. Um, it was something I fell into by chance. And then over the years, what I found is that you could take the model, not, not only did it work for SEO, but it also works many other ways. It creates a lot of word of mouth. You can, you can apply it to social media and videos and press release marketing, you know, Zoom calls and everything like that. And it's just, it's what you're doing is you're identifying your market, you're focused on, on that, on staying in front of your market over and over and over and showing proof. If you don't stick with it, you're going to, it's not going to work. It'll work for a while, but as soon as you stop, it's going to stop. And that's really how marketing works. So many people think, oh, I'm going to start a marketing campaign and that's all I'm going to need. No, that's why companies stick with it because what they're doing is they're building, continually amplifying their proof and trust. And I talk about the SEO system here. Uh, and again, you can read through all this. You can, um, you know, you can read the bullet points uh, for, you know, I summarize each topic with bullet points. So you can look at the bullet points, then you can go read the content. Uh, Caroline Vega and I, Caroline's been, and I've been working together building a marketing agency for over 10 years. Caroline is awesome. She builds, she's amazing at building websites writing content, creating press releases, pay-per-click marketing, all that stuff. So she runs all that for us. And so what we did was we uh, we took this, we, what we did was we took the model, we turned it into a training program. It's a, it's a mastermind and we teach this exact model. And Gene Schwartz is everywhere uh, within the entire model. So we are, we're always explaining and using the tactics that we learned and we're applying them to the model. Um, here's, here's a copy of an ad, uh, Brian Kurtz. If you want to get the book, uh, you can go to briankurtz.net. And uh, here's a copy of an ad that I saw that I copied from. Uh, um, and Breakthrough Advertising has proven to be one of the most important books ever written about persuasion, copywriting, marketing, and human behavior. Behavior. So what I'm doing is I'm leveraging off, okay, so yes, we're using this 
It's very effective. It's enabled us to build this amazing business that we're now working on bringing to the world. Wouldn't be, wouldn't be able to do it without Gene Schwartz. Um, again, we get into the key points. Uh, here's another key. This, this, this one is really the key. This is really at the heart of our one-page case study model because we're always breaking things down by bullet points. But what we always do is we always start by breaking things down into little pieces first, and then we create the content. We don't create content first. We don't start writing. We break things down into like little jigsaw puzzle pieces. And this is exactly how Gene Schwartz created his content. He would sit there with a client in their boardroom, and he would spend three hours just asking questions, and he would just he would just take little pieces, little notes, and then he would go back to his studio. And he would put all the notes out on a, on a table and, and he would look at them and he would put them in order and he would utilize all the tactics that he writes about in his book, uh, of which we're, we're doing the same thing. Um, things like, okay, here, here's a couple of key things. He focuses on desire, identification factors, belief. These, the, this is the core of breakthrough advertising. So if you're looking to increase your sales, you're looking for marketing strategies and how to make your marketing work. These are the things you have to know. Or certainly, certainly what I had to know. Um, motivation research. What is motivation research? Motivation research is just an incredible thing to be aware of because it starts to really get you to focus not only on your market, but your the consumers you're trying to reach. Uh, things like what does a product do, what it makes your product or service unique, and what are the profiles of your customers? Because whatever you're selling, whatever I'm selling, it's all about, you know, who is who are you? You know, you're watching this video, you're listening to me, but who are you? What are, you know, I want to try and connect with you at where you are, and you are different and unique than, ever, than everybody else on the planet. But let me give you an example of what an uh, identification factor is, is. And so let's use the example. I like to use the example of a tire store. If you've ever been to a tire store or if you've ever done a search for tires, if you go and look at every single website, it's got the website, the company name, and then it's got pictures of tires. Now, if you've ever been to the tire store, um, the tire store smells like rubber. Their tires stacked on top of each other. You have to wait for three hours in my area anyway. And I hate going to the tire store. And when I look at one of these websites, I can smell this. I can smell the rubber. I can feel the pain of having to wait three hours. Imagine if a tire store changed instead of focusing only on the tires to focus on all the different kinds of cars because that's what people are going to identify with, you know, like a yellow Mercedes or, you know, a Porsche or a Range Rover or a, you know, whatever, whatever kind of car, an electric car, whatever. That's what they're going to identify with. They, they, nobody cares about the darn tires. They care about the car. And that's, that's what an identification factor is. So imagine, imagine a website has four pictures across and maybe four pictures down. You got 16 images of all kinds of different cars. That can, that's going to connect with a consumer much more than the tire. And every business can take it, can capitalize on that concept. Picture words. Picture words are something I learned from Gene Schwartz. I never knew what they, they were. They're words that create an image in your mind. Uh, sort of like if you use the phrase hoist the sail, like you can see an image in your mind. If you use the word sunset, you can see a picture. It's a word that creates a picture in your mind. You can see a sunset. For example, you can see a picture of, you know, the sun going down and the colors in the sky changing, you know, from, you know, the blue to the blue day to, you know, maybe the, the yellows and reds and the purples and that kind of thing. So you create the word sunset creates an image. And so what we do, what we do in when we create these case studies is we're using, we're naturally creating picture words because we're by just by following our model, we're filling out templates 
And we're naturally creating picture words. We're naturally creating stories that people can relate to. But the more aware that we are of how picture words work, the more we can take one word and we can embellish it because we know it's going to, by every time we take a simple word and we add a little bit more to it to, to make it more of a, an image word, the more it's going to connect with the consumer, the more they're going to remember it, the more they're going to refer it, and it sure as heck works. Um, anyway, mechanization. You know, this, this is another thing. Showcasing the process to build belief. Because again, we're always trying to build belief. As Shane Schwartz says, if you're not showing a, cust a prospect proof, they're not going to buy. And you may have experienced that yourself. If you if you ever dealt with somebody and you're you're struggling to get them to buy whatever you're selling, it's because you're not showing them enough proof. So you got to keep doing it over and over. That's what mechanization is. It's showing the process. People want to see the process. They want to see it from their own eyes. They're looking to, you don't have, this is simple stuff. Um, and you can see what I'm doing is I'm repeating over and over and over. You know, bullet points, a little bit of content. Uh, five stages of, uh, this is something right from uh, Gene Schwartz. Um, I'm going to show you some of what I did in a minute and how I, I, I took one of his tactics and I simplified it because the five stages of con consumer awareness is really the key. It's one of the real keys because this is how your customers are, the people you're trying to sell to. They're going through a process and they start out, start out as unaware. They have a need, but no desire. One of the things that they're going to say is as they're getting becoming more and more educated, is this right for me? As a matter of fact, I hear that a lot. You know, is the one page case study model sounds amazing, but is it right for me? Well, if you're selling something, you got to show proof. So it is definitely right for everybody. You just have to customize it for you. Um, again, amplifying your credibility using quotes, showing proof. Again, that's the, the that's the basis of breakthrough advertising. That is the basis of the CB model. That is the basis of the Bob Knackle system and why he's been so successful because he's showing proof over and over and over. He's building his entire business based on proof. Very competitive out there, right? Imagine being in the New York City real estate market. Imagine what it takes to become the number one. How can you do that? Because you're showing more proof than anybody else. That's how he does it. It's really simple when you think about it. But what we want to do is, you know, we want to use those proof factors. You know, for example, you can use third-party quotes. This is what I'm doing here to build my credibility with you as, as the reader. And this is what you can do in your marketing as well, is use third-party quotes. Now, I'm not going to read through all these, but we've got Zig Ziglar. We've got Andrew Carnegie, who arguably was the most uh, wealthy business person in history based on today's dollars. Steve Forbes, Bob Knackle again, you know, Bob Knackle, I love his quote. It's not hard to know what to do to be successful. The harder part is doing it. Our one page case study model, it's so simple. Very easy to learn, very quick. You can learn it very, very fast, but the key is you got to keep doing it. Alex Hormozzi, love his quote. The key to your first 100,000 is to stick with one thing for 12 months and don't quit. The key to your first 100 million is to do more of what you got you to the 100,000. That's really at the core of our whole uh, one-page case study model. Um, one of the things that we did come up with was this is really the five steps of the customer journey in a much more simplistic form. It's what we did was, um, I read the book um, at you know, basically, a breakthrough advertising boot camp that Brian Kurtz uh, held. And Steve Pressfield spoke and he introduced this book here called Nobody Wants to Read Your Shit. And there was a really great quote in the, uh, in the book that really connected with me, which was, there is an evil force that is constantly defeating us and bringing to naught all our dreams. Let's name that force, accept it as our enemy and figure out how to overcome it. That's when I really understood why 
the CB system work, why the Bob Mackle system work. And it started to, all of a sudden, all these things that Gene Schwartz is talking about started to come to life. Now, I would never have been able to understand this if I hadn't studied breakthrough advertising, if I didn't have all this background. But once I saw this, now I understood it because there was an evil force. What is that evil force? Well, I always knew that proof converted to trust that converted to sales, but I didn't know the other side. I didn't understand the evil force. And that's when I started to focus on the consumer who is a doubter. What is that evil force that is constantly defeating us? Well, it's proof. It's, I'm sorry, it's not proof. It's doubt. And the only way to overcome doubt is with proof. That is the only way that an expert at something, like if you're an expert and you're not getting enough business, it's because you're not pushing proof out there to demonstrate that you're a trusted expert. So you've got two characters in this whole story. One is the doubter and one is the expert. To move the doubter to become a buyer, you have to go from being an expert to a trusted expert. There's all the kind of stuff I learned in Breakthrough Advertising, and this is at the core of one-page case studies. One last thing I just want to say is that I want to shout out to Dino Gomez, the founder of Seven Figure, Seven Figure Visionary and the mini workshop series. Dino is our coach. He's the one that has enabled us to bring this to market. He's the one that has helped us with our, our, our sales pages, our email sequences, our Facebook ads to promote this how to communicate on social media. So I want to, you know, shout out to Dino. Anyway, just going to wrap it up there. Hope you uh, go over to onepagecasestudies.com. Read this. It's really, really valuable. I mean, this is it. There is no, to, it's what I've shown here. Basically, when you go and look at all this here, all the proof, everything here, these are the most successful companies and people in the world. The model is built on this. If you're looking to build your website, to build your business, you're a startup, I don't care whether you're, you're a franchise, I don't care what level of business you're at. If you, if you want to get more business, this is indisputable proof of what I call the universal success formula. Let us know what you think. Love to hear your comments. And uh, hopefully we'll see you on uh, in our... So Facebook group.